Hello, how are you doing? Did you know that AI is going nuclear? Well, if you've not heard about this unusual AI energy development, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So it turns out training and running LLMs in 2024 requires a lot of power. So why is this? Well, the first reason is the massive model sizes. LLMs contain billions of parameters requiring extensive computations to train and run inference, which significantly increases energy consumption. The second reason is the high computational complexity. Training LLMs involves multiple passes over huge data sets with many iterations involving adjustments of parameters while inference requires complex operations across the entire model for each query. To give you a sense of LLM inference power costs, a Goldman Sachs report estimates one chat GPT query consumes 10 times more power than one Google search query. The third reason is distributed computing. Training LLMs often requires thousands of GPUs working in parallel along with high-speed data transfer between devices leading to significant energy use for both computation and communication. The fourth reason is hardware power requirements. These GPUs used for training and inference are extremely power hungry, and when they run, they burn hot. Additional energy is needed just for cooling. The fifth reason is repetitive training and fine tuning. Hyperparameter tuning, multiple training runs, and ongoing fine tuning further increase the total energy consumption as models are often retrained or refined multiple times. So as you can see, running an AI data center where LLMs are trained and run inference requires a lot of power. So which companies are needing the most power when running their LLM models? Well, collectively, these companies are called the hyperscalers. Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and Meta are four of the big hyperscalers. These companies are all investing heavily in securing sustainable and scalable power for their AI data centers. The power demands of AI workloads are significant, and for these companies, managing energy resources is a critical business concern. Hyperscalers are increasingly entering in long-term agreements to buy renewable energy directly from energy producers. Amazon, Google, and Microsoft have signed multiple agreements with solar and wind energy providers to secure low carbon, stable energy for their data center. To mitigate the intermittent nature of renewable energy, hyperscalers are also investing in large scale battery storage systems. Remember, you only get solar energy when the sun is shining and you only get wind energy when the wind is blowing. So storing excess energy is an important part of these energy systems. These battery storage systems allow energy to be stored during times of peak generation and then discharged when energy generation drops, ensuring continuous operation of the data centers. Some hyperscalers are building AI data centers near renewable energy hubs, such as wind-rich regions or areas with abundant hydropower. This proximity to the energy source minimizes power transmission line losses and ensures direct access to energy. Additionally, hyperscalers are designing custom AI chips that are optimized for energy efficiency. These chips reduce the overall energy footprint required for AI tasks, thereby reducing the energy required for operating an AI data center. So with all this clean energy investment, what's going on with nuclear power? Well, the simple answer is even more power capacity is needed. Just recently in September of 2024, Microsoft and Constellation Energy signed a deal to help restart one of two reactors of the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in what would be the first nuclear reactor restart of its kind. For those of you who are too young to remember or that maybe don't live in the US, Three Mile Island has some significant history in the United States. The Three Mile Island nuclear power plant is located near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and is known for being the site of the most serious nuclear accident in U.S. history. In March of 1979, 
the American public found out as national broadcaster Walter Cronkite broke the news of the incident during his evening news show. The incident involved a partial meltdown of Reactor 2 due to mechanical failure and human error resulting in the release of a small amount of radioactive gas. The meltdown caused widespread public fear but led to no immediate deaths or injuries. The event significantly influenced public perception of nuclear power in the U.S. and led to stronger regulatory oversight by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. It also slowed the expansion of the nuclear energy industry in the U.S. Reactor 2 was permanently shut down after the accident, while Reactor 1 continued to operate until 2019 when the entire plant was decommissioned due to the financial challenges in the nuclear industry. So with all this history, you can see that this Microsoft Constellation Energy Agreement is a pretty big deal and highlights how urgent securing power is for the hyperscalers. Now, it's not just Microsoft securing nuclear power. Amazon also just announced it has signed three new deals to help develop nuclear energy projects, including four new commercial reactors in central Washington. These reactors are expected to come online by the early 2030s. And Google is not being left behind either on nuclear. They just announced a deal to purchase nuclear power using small modular reactors, marking their entry into securing nuclear power for their data centers. Their first reactor is expected to be online by 2030. So why nuclear? Why are the hyperscalers trying to secure nuclear power? Nuclear power also helps meet the energy intensive needs of AI workloads while also aligning with sustainability goals. As modern nuclear technology advances, it could become an even more attractive option for powering large-scale, energy-hungry AI infrastructures in the future. So now you should have a good high-level understanding of the power requirements for AI training and inference workloads. You should also understand the urgency the hyperscalers are operating with with regard to securing power to run these next generation AI data centers. Let me know in the comments what you think of this nuclear power option. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology, and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. But get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I want to hear about this also. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.